Welcome to Mini Mail number four. Hopefully you won't hear my printer printing in the background. Let's get started. I'm gonna go with this one first. It says, gear, gear. I guess they're gears. This is pretty well packaged. I don't know how I'm gonna open it. Plastic bands and pulleys. So once again, this is for my mechanical project. It's all different size pulleys and a whole bunch of elastic bands. I have no idea if I'm gonna need these or not, but I have them now just in case. Awesome. Next we have description of goods, circuit board times four. Circuit board times four. What could this possibly be? Okay, these are not circuit board times four. These are cases times four. So these are similar to the case that you would have seen a while ago when I got some screws and the it broke. Wow, that's flimsy as. Anyway, I found a place that sold the cases by themselves. I actually reached out to the seller where I got my screws from that had the broken case and asked them for a replacement case. And they yeah, weren't overly interested in helping me out. But I found these, so I bought some spare ones just in case. Awesome. Next we have plastic gears. <laughs> yeah. So I think I mentioned earlier that there were three sets of gears that I bought. Well, this would be the third one. Devalued customer. There's a bit of a note inside. So, here's another bag of an assortment of cogs, pulleys, screws, elastic bands. There's got to be something useful in here. I hope so. Next, cable ferrules. Ferrules. I don't even know how to pronounce that. A bag of ferrules that I can stick on the end of my wires and crimp them to make them stronger. I'm going to see if I need this for my Reflow Master construction assembly. Cool. Next we have galvanic lead. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. There's a little bit of Reflow Master stuff in here. So I bought five of these K-type probes. Thermocouples. Because I wanted to try them out to see how well they work. Well, I'll get them out with my Reflow Master. Because they're a pretty decent length. Let's just open one up. They're a great length. They've got the ability to be kind of molded. So when they go inside the oven, as you can see. I'm going to have to cut the ends off. But lucky I got some ferrules to put on the ends of them. I just want to see how good they are. Because if they're any good, I'm going to supply these with my Reflow Master. Excellent. Next, we have 1 times 4 keypads. I got this because of Brian Locke. He was playing around with making a macro keyboard that he was going to use for his streaming. So I got myself this one, two, three, four little button pushy thing. Well, I don't even know what that is. Is that just air inside? Interesting. Feels quite nice. Nothing to secure it with. Or is that tape? Can I tape? Oh, okay. It's got tape at the back. So I'm going to play around with doing a, maybe a switching thing for my live streaming or something. I don't know. I'm going to play around with Brian's project. Check out Brian's video about it, just about there right now. Very cool. Okay, and lucky last today is terminal barrier strip. It sounds like a medical procedure. Ah, cool. Okay, so I got these, possibly, as an extension cables for the thermocouples. So the good thing about these is you can cut them off to any particular lengths that you want. So I can cut them off into twos, I can cut them off into threes or fours. So they are, again, a possibility to go in the Reflow Master. There's quite a bit of Reflow Master stuff today, which is kind of weird because I would expect that this video is coming out after I've released my Reflow Master. That's okay. That's what happens with mail videos. They go in the future, in the past, all over the place. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.